Hi, let us see the next part of the tables that is the word art, the third point that is the word art and how do we draw the borders for this table. So for your reference what I have done is I have uh, drawn a table and written some data here, some data that is the country, days, months and the numbers. So what I will do is I will try to play with the text, I will try to make it into a word art and I will also draw a border in between somewhere to just distinguish it. So I will just press escape, come back to the normal place. Once I keep my cursor on the table, you see I have got this design and layout. I will go to the design and work on this word art styles. Now the text which you are able to see, it is a normal text. If I go to this quick styles and if I select any word art, let us say if I select the red color word art, this text changes accordingly. right? Now and uh, also you can change the text according to your requirement. So if you see here, that is A and these are the different uh, colors available for your text. So if I select this yellow color, the text becomes yellow color here. But now if you see there is a small thin border surrounding your text. So yellow color is uh, surrounded by some other text. What I will do is if you want to uh, border color, if you want to color the border itself, you can select this option and you can choose the color here. So for this text, what I will do is I will choose the border as black color. So you see there is a small thin line which is selected and that is the border color given here. Similarly, if you want some other styles, you can select the other styles, 3D glow or you can say as reflection, shadows, a many options are available. I will not go for it. I will just select this data and I will use the normal font so it is visible properly. So I will go to design, select this as black color, select the text as black color here. Yeah. Basically, I will clear the word art. How do you clear the word art? I can just go to this place and see as clear word art. So everything will come back to the normal place. So let us see the next one. If I want to draw a border to this table, let us say if you see that there is a thin border between every two column, every column and there is a border given here. What I will do is I will try to change the border if I want to make it thick or thin according to the your requirement. So, so if you see there is a draw border symbol given here, the group give, given here. From the first one, if you see, these are the line style which you want. Do you want a dotted line or do you want a plain line? So these are the line styles which are given. Suppose I say I want the normal line, plain line. The next thing is, it will ask you what should be the weightage of the line. Do you want the thick line or do you want the thin line? 1 point, 1 per point, so different points are given. So I will select this 6 point. And for that line, what is the line color do you want? Red, black, blue, yellow. So I will select some green color here. Now. Then you can use your mouse point pointer and then you can draw it. So you see I will just draw it between column country and days like this. I will use my uh, mouse key and I will just use this. Yeah, You see I will just click on that between the borders and if you want more than one column you can just select like this and put the column. So this way the color is given. If you want you can change the color, pen color I will see as some red color here and I uh, will add a red color border in between. So this way you can keep on adding the borders between the uh, column itself. Next is if you do not want that border, if you want to erase the border, you can choose the option as erase and you can select the cell and you see the border is erased and the both the columns have been merged together. Similarly, if you want to erase this between these rows, if I click on this, the uh, row is erased and this both cells have been merged together. So this is how you can erase a border. Just click on it and the border will be raised. This both cells will merge itself. So I hope you are able to understand how we can use the word art styles and also we can work on the border part. That's all for this video.